Hello friends, once again I welcome you all in this lecture. Mm, this is uh, you know, the marketing communication process. In last lecture we, we only discussed about the communication process in general. Here we are going to correlate the communication process in terms of the marketer, right? So <clears throat> when I talk about the communication process, so what is communication process? Communication process is process of communicating with the end users, process of communicating with the customers or process of communicating with the consumers. Now, why communications? Again, the very important question is why communication? The, the reason why we talk about the communication because if I want to say something to someone else and if there is a no communication, so I couldn't express my views. And whatever my view is, that could not be understood by the, the the other parties, right? So if I want to tell something, so I want that the next very next party must understand that what I want to tell. And here there is a need of the communication. So again, when we talk about the marketing communication process, here you know the communication is being started by you know the marketer. So when we talk about the sender, here the main sender is who? The marketer, a businessman, any ad agency, right? What what, what uh, the sender does? Sender encodes the message. Now what do you mean by encoding the message? So encoding the message means after understanding the need of the customers, now I make a creation. Creation what? Creation of the ideas ideas in terms of what I I, 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 I I saw the customers want and now how I should give more than the customer wants yeah yeah, yeah there are two important things what customer want and what I am giving more than the customer wants that's why nowadays is we talk about the delightment initially previously we talk about the satisfaction so satisfaction is all about what what customer want i am just giving the same but no this competition has completely changed the you know the, the methodology of the communication process especially in terms of marketing so here consumer talk about the the delightment and when we say the delightment basically delightment means what customer wants more than their expectations so when we say more than their expectations so more than expectation means okay uh, what what uh, I want yeah well, whatever I want is okay but if company gives me more than that I will be a delighted fine so how you will be delighted how you will be delighted okay that is possible when marketers already have understood your needs and desires now once I have understood the needs and desires how I am going to communicate because that is very important only then a customer will understand that their needs and desires, their expectations are fulfilling by the company. So I, I marketer, right, encode the message, message means the fulfillment of their needs, delightment with the help of the various media. Now what next? Whatever message I have encoded, now the customer decoded the same. Now customers started interpretation in his or her mind yeah i was expecting the same am i getting the same or just just company is luring uh, to uh, purchase a particular product and once i will purchase a particular product then i'm not going to get the same things claimed by the marketer so you know the interpretation starts now here the main role of the ad agency is to make that type of advertisement which could easily be digestible by the customer. Remember, if customer cannot easily digest advertisement, it is a psychology of human being that they will understand this is only for attracting the customers. There is no any correlation between the advertisement shown and the products received. So, interpretation means what? Interpretation means your mind starts telling you you should go for the particular product you should go you should not go for the particular product 
your mind starts saying to you the marketer whatever claiming could be true could be false so once you started interpretation then <clears throat> you do a response what you do a response you go and purchase the particular product for example i want to purchase maggi and i saw the ad of the maggi i like it right but in the meantime what happened the company said if you purchase four maggi at a time then i will give you uh, then, then you are getting something different apart from the four maggis that could be in the form of reduction in price or that could be in the form of getting uh, you know one more extra pack of maggi now after seeing the advertisement you started interpreting so i will go for the four maggi so i will purchase i will get five maggi or i will go for reduction in prices right so now you go to the market and you give response that you purchase four maggi now what happened there the, the, the shopkeeper gave you five maggis it means you are you are you got a positive response vice versa you 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 just went for a four maggis and company say no there is no any offers there is nothing at all so the, the shopkeeper says there is no any offers there is no, no nothing at all in like reduction in price so you again got a response but in negative terms fine so uh, this way you 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 gave a feedback feedback that whatever company was claiming that is false either you didn't understand might be the stock is not available uh, with the shopkeeper that you, that you didn't understand you what simply understand that a company wants to uh, company uh, gave uh, you know the advertisement of the four uh, packs of maggie uh, and one maggie free you visited and there you saw that there is no such type of offers so it generally created a negative sort of advertising so so that's why you know the what company does you shouldn't come with the empty hands right so before giving this car this message in the form of advertisement company make sure the product whatever the company is claiming you know that must be available in shops through distributor through retailer or through any any other means so that okay, after seeing the advertisement company sorry customer makes a quick decision and when company when, when customer makes a quick decision customer visits and when customer visits and customer doesn't get it creates a so finally customers got a feedback and with the help of the feedback again <clears throat> company got either positive or negative feedback so if if you got four uh, maggie along with the one maggie so you are happy so again company got the offer yes, yes company understood yes already what i was claiming no customers are getting the same vice versa if you didn't get again a feedback goes to the company that whatever i was claiming so i am not getting because of any reasons that could be because of the availability because of it because of any things it could create a negative marketing so in the meanwhile in this communication process there could be a chances of the noise or the disturbance like i, I gave example the company is claiming company is also giving the offers but might be that the product that that offers is not available in your locality so that could also that could always also be a part of the noise so what when we talk about the noise the noise could be in terms of the contradictions <coughs> noise could be in the terms of distractions noise could be in terms of any misleading sort of thank you very much thanks last one Hello friends, in this lecture, I'm going to discuss what exactly the advertising is. Before that, uh, I, I didn't come to the main topic that what advertising is. And I was discussing with the introduction part, I was discussing, you know, the, the communication and the marketing communication. Now, this is the time for, you know, the, exactly what advertising is. 
so whenever we say advertising so advertising you know in uh, advertisement plus ing so when we say ing it becomes a process so what advertising is advertising is a process process of what process of changing your mind towards why changing your mind towards because the advertising a particular word came from the latin word advertier advertier means turn your mind towards it. and when we say mind here we talk about the positioning <clears throat> al rice and Jack, Jack trot basically these two were the, the, were the friends who basically coined this term positioning so positioning is all about the location of your product in the mind of the customers and when we say the mind towards towards means a particular product and the service so see see the relation between the latin words advertiser uh, and exactly what what is happening in the business scenario when, when we say the turn mind towards so mind means positioning brain game you make decision you do not make decision why because your mind allows you to do the same all right when we say towards of course i'm talking about the product and service why because with the help of the advertisement i'm going to tell you the importance of it. i'm going to tell you the information related to the product and service i'm going to tell you how my product and service are going to fulfill your needs and what you are doing you are going to grab the same how you are going to grab the same when you will make a decision only when it will create positioning in your mind right so the location what the location is so location is i told you positioning is what the location of the product and service in the mind of customer so what location is the location means it's a <coughs> impact of the product in the mind the impact could be the positive the impact could be the negative now the question is what the product and service is basically when we talk about the product the product is anything capable of satisfying you need there are three things which are very very important in terms of the product the first thing is that does it satisfy your need second thing can you see can you touch so that is a tangibility part and third one the very very important part what about my ownership am i a sole owner of the particular product only then it will be a product so in order to become a product there are three things need satisfaction tangibility and involvement of ownership now again the service just 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 you know service services what is a benefit a company wants to give to the customers a company wants to give to the channel partners a, 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 a benefits which a company wants to give to its shareholders stakeholders right so service is what a benefit which one party one company transfers to other again the basic difference there must be intangibility intangibility is very very important and again the third one is it doesn't involve any ownership so when we talk about the difference between the product and service the basic difference are what it product is tangible in nature services intangible in nature product involve ownership service doesn't involve ownership now come to the definition of advertising what advertising basically is so american marketing association uh, well defined the, uh, the advertising as is that any paid form of non personal promotion of ideas goods and services by an identified sponsor here four important things which you should understand in fact five the one is paid form third is the second is non personal third is promotions promotions of what ideas goods and services and the last one is there must be an identified sponsor so when we say the paid form it means there is an involvement of money even if there is a no involvement of money there could be that it is the ad is related to the social sort of advertisement and when if company gives any ad when a channel uh, gives any uh, you know the 
the scheduling for any social type of activities scheduling basically is the date and time given by the company by the air agency given by the media to the respective uh, you know, the organization that will not be a part of advertising right so whenever we say advertising there is a paid form otherwise it will be a part of the publicity so it's a paid form non-personal this is not only for a particular person this is for everyone what we do on the basis of the need satisfaction so on the basis of the you know, desire you make an idea idea related to how to satisfy idea related to the goods and service how you will satisfy and the most important part is there is an identifier response it means you know who is giving advertisement right if i compare the advertising as the market mix basically the marketing mix is what it's a tool right and what are the various tools there are four important tools the, the basic piece of marketing the product price place and promotion so when we say promotion basically promotion means communication and how you are going to communicate so advertising is one way of communication when we say place what is place place is distribution channels right so when we say promotion basically promotion means what how you are going to come there are various ways to communicate that we will discuss in integrated marketing communication but the one way is advertising one way is advertising so there is a correlation you know between the advertising and the marketing mix so thank you very much